हेलो गाइस वी आर बैक अगेन विद अर बेस्ट टूटोरियल्स दिस टाइम द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन विल बी कंटेनर्स वी हैव गॉट मेनी क्वेरीज ऑन कंटेनर्स एंड अर सब्सक्राइबर्स एक्चुअली वांट दैट वी शुड पुट सम लाइट ऑन कंटेनर्स सो आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू पुट सम टूटोरियल्स ऑन कंटेनर्स सो वॉट इज कंटेनर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस इज नॉट अ न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी टू लिनक्स इफ आई टॉक अबाउट कंटेनर वी हैव अ सिमिलर टेक्नोलॉजी टेन ईयर बैक वी यूज विच इज नोन एन एलेक्सी राइट सो दैट इज द सेम टेक्नोलॉजी विच इज बीन यूज एज अ बेस बाई डॉक्टर सो तो कंटेनर इज अ मैथड ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वर्चुअलाइजेशन दैट अलाउ यू टू रन एन एप्लीकेशन एंड इट डिपेंडेंसी इन रिसोर्स आइसोलेटेड प्रोसेस इज सो बेसिकली कंटेनर इज अ प्रोसेस which is isolated from your base operating system and it is having its own own kernel it is having its own base os and it is having its own role so it is an portable operating system which you can actually deploy and you can actually port it to your new operating system and you can actually port it to any cloud technology right so containers are more flexible in their operations uh, so i will be taking uh, next uh, what is the relation between container and docker so people generally say container docker docker container right so what it is so docker is actually not container docker are terminologies which are used to manage container so docker is a thing which is used to manage container right so i have put one diagram which actually explain what is containers so if you talk about the basic semantic diagram of container we have a host hardware then we have a host operating system then on host operating system we are actually installing a docker engine so that docker engine is responsible for management of our containers with a separate apps which are separate roles which are separate services running on a particular container right so how it is different from virtualization so in virtualization you have a hypervisor layer and on hypervisor layer, layer you have a different os running right so in container you don't have that hypervisor layer instead you have an host operating system which is having a docker engine over it so now there is a point what is the different difference between containerization and virtualization obviously oh, i will start with the advantage of containers so containers come back into a picture when docker start uh, developing a method of container portability right allowing them to move among any system that share the similar host os type right so there is a no dependency of your container on your operating system because container in its own is a complete operating system so the boot time of container is really fast right and secondly you can deploy multiple containers on a single operating system on a same set of hardware so this is a prominent uh, feature of container so obviously if if there is some uh, some non prominence about container that is security container is using se linux and ch root or as as a structure of networking with uh, with with respect of its isolation from operating system right that, that is on its base so when if you somehow get access to that ch root you can actually and then you can easily hack into the container right uh, but uh, but recently docker is actually working hard to make it a more user based privileged technology docker is also using its own docker um, its own docker hub from where you can get the images which which are using its their own fingerprints right so people are actually working to main container secure but it's always a choice if you really want to make you make your hardware dependency or you really want to control your hardware then obviously you want to go with virtualization if you don't want hardware layer to be managed in house then obviously containerization is the better option and maybe you see an hybrid model in coming years in technology but one more thing which container is different from virtualization is that in virtualization you have a different set of os on your hypervisor right you can have linux window you can have hp unix you can have aix you can have suse over it but in containerization you need to maintain 
either linux or window as your base operating system and then you can run a docker engine and then you can actually deploy containers over it so this is another major difference which i feel so moving ahead uh, so this is the basic container uh, tutorial which i have uh, actually uh, which i have actually visualized to you guys the the next part of container will be how to install docker on an normal operating system we, we may take ubuntu then what will be the different docker terminologies and then uh, the other tutorial will be how we will be deploying docker on aws on ecs right so if you really like these tutorials please subscribe and share these tutorials so that others should also get advantage of it and if you have any queries instead of putting them into mails just drop them as a comments beneath the tutorials so that we can answer keep learning